Hello everybody, it's Shayna with Robinson Repurposing. And if you're new here, what I like to do is thrift flips, repurposed furniture, Dollar Tree DIYs, all that kind of stuff on a budget. So if you like that, definitely stick around, subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get into today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I transformed this old oak TV stand into a cute, new, modern, adorable little desk. Yeah, so I'm super excited. So stay tuned for this. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I got this piece like probably probably a year ago, honestly, and it's taken me this long to finally figure out what I wanted to do with it and finally finish it and all that. Um, so I've been looking at it for a while, obviously, and I just decided that if I cut off these two sides, like cut off the bottom of it, it, it would have like, you know, a side, a top, and another side. So I was like, oh, okay, this will make, this could make a desk potentially, maybe if I, you know, so anyway, that's where I just kind of like was looking at it. That's how I got the idea to make it into a desk because there was no, there was just nothing else I could do with this piece. I, I don't know. So anyway, you can see me here. I was just cutting off the bottoms. This was kind of complicated and Amelia was videoing for me and she's six. So, you know, it's a little wobbly of a video, but just bear with me. Okay, so right here, you can see that I almost had it, but there was these metal bars in this thing, you know, that held like the, the, the I don't know, just all the hardware. So anyway, I had to get that all taken off and it was kind of complicated because it, like it was metal, which my saw cut through it somehow. And then I was starting to get angry at this point. Okay, so long story short, I finally got it <laughs> unconnected or, you know, unhooked there from each other. And then you have, I had two separate pieces. All right, next I'm going to cut off this bottom half right here. I'm going to cut this piece off and I'm going to try to use it for reinforcements. I'm going to try to cut this trim off and use it somehow on this disc. So yeah, that's the next step. Okay, and then here I was just showing you guys that I put one coat of Slick Stick and Boss by Dixie Belle on this on the bottom. The white color is what you see. And then I also spray painted like up under the underneath. So that's why I was just showing you guys here. And I also used a little bit of that cream spray paint to get up underneath like in those little grooves because I could not get those very well with my paintbrush. So I did use a little bit of spray paint to get in those grooves, but then I ended up painting over it anyway. And also, I was going to say, this is actually how I was going to leave it, um, the top stained and the bottom all white, but I don't end up leaving it like this. I, I ran out of white paint, and I didn't want to buy any more, honestly. So I used some light green, really pretty color that I had on hand. And so, yeah, that's what you'll see here in a second. Okay, so in the, in the video, I have not, I didn't show footage of me, um, creating that back piece back there and screwing it in but that's all I did is I, I measured that board out it was just a scrap board we had in the garage and I you know just screwed it in over here on the sides two long screws so that's not like beautiful I need to get some like button plugs and put over top of that or something but anyway yeah that's all I did there on that part that I didn't show in the video and then this bottom color, I didn't show myself painting in this video either because I wasn't sure I was going to even share this process because it was kind of complicated to video. This color is called Garden Swing by Chippy Barn, I believe. I will put all of that down in the description box. And then I just, you know, brought that up to here. I painted this white. This is just like a cotton color by Dixie Belle. And then this top is a gel stain. Uh, I think it's Tobacco Road color by with Dixie Bells products. So that's all I did on that. And then I just sealed it with, I um, actually haven't sealed it yet, but I'm going to seal it with satin polycrylic or matte polycrylic, actually, depending on what I have here at home. But yeah, that's all there was to this. I think this was a really cool transformation to take that old TV stand and transfer it into this because there was really no use for that anymore. And here's a final look at how the whole thing turned out. Just sitting here staged real pretty. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this 
little video. I didn't get into all the detail, but like I said, it was kind of hard. So there's just a little quick rundown of what I did to turn that old TV stand into a cute new useful desk. And that today's video is part of the Ugly Duck Challenge hosted by Corey from Desert DIY. And basically the challenge is that we take like the ugliest piece or just an old piece or whatever and we change it, transform it into something way better than what it was currently. So that was what I did in, in this video. And our my video will be included on a playlist of other fellow like furniture flippers. So definitely like check that out. And at the end, like they're gonna pick a winner and we will share that winner and all the things. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for all that. Hope you all enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.